Hi, hello. Okay, uh, welcome to our uh, YouTube channel. Uh, please uh, click subscribe uh, to our channel. Uh, we'll be loading uh, uh, videos uh, daily in this channel. So you can get updates of our uh, video. Okay, uh, this video is a short quiz. So what we will do, I will flash the question, the problem. And then you have an option to solve it. I will pause for a while. And then uh, about five seconds, you can pause it now before you watch the solution. So uh, this will be uh, a, a quiz, okay? So the, our quiz now is dynamics, about dynamics, okay? I will flash the question and then pause for a while. And then you post the video. If you can solve it, then much better. And then continue, you can see the solution, okay? Okay, this is the question. A train, upon passing a point A at a speed of 72 kilometers per hour, accelerates at 0.75 meter per second squared for one minute along a straight path, then decelerates at one meter per second squared. Okay, how far in kilometers from point A will it be two minutes after passing point A? Okay, so I will... Uh, uh, pause for a while and then you can pause it if you want to solve it yourself. Okay, so I hope uh, you tried to solve the problem. Okay, if you haven't solved it yet, you can pause the video. Okay. So, okay, uh, let's uh, solve this problem. So there's a train upon passing point A. So let's draw the figure. So we have a train and then it passed point A at a speed of 72 kilometers per hour, 72 kph. Okay, uh, to make this easy, let's convert this to meters per second. Take note that one meter per second is 3.6 kilometers per hour. So you divide this by 3.6, so that will give you 20 meters per second. So let us use meter per second. Our distance is in meter, our time is in second. So it says here that it speeds up, accelerates by 0.75 meter per second per second for one minute or 60 seconds. So this is it. Acceleration is for one minute, that is 60 seconds. So the train will travel a distance of S1 during the time. And then after that, it will slow down. It will decelerate one meter per second squared. One meter per second squared. Okay? So it will slow down. It will slow down one meter per second squared. So your acceleration is negative. Right? Negative one meter per second squared. The question is how far in kilometers? Will the train be two minutes after it passed point A? Two minutes. So this is it. This is the illustration. Two minutes after passing point A or a total of 120 seconds. Okay? So in other words, the time of travel while the train is accelerating is also 60 seconds. Correct? Uh, this is also 60 seconds. So how far? The question is how far the distance from A to C. Okay? So what is this problem? Motion, of course, this involves acceleration, and this is uniform acceleration. You have to identify correctly the problem. No? So this is under uniform acceleration. The formulas are, uh, there are three basic formulas in uniform acceleration. That is final velocity equals initial velocity plus acceleration times time. The other one is distance equals initial velocity or VOT plus one half AT squared. And the third one is V squared equals VO squared plus two AS. These are the three formulas. All right. Let's, and this is, by the way, this is a compound motion. Moving from A to B, then from B to C. So let's analyze first the motion from A to B. So from A to B, we are after for the distance, of course. All right. So we can use this formula. Distance equals initial velocity times time plus one half AT squared. 
All right, the initial velocity is 72 kilometers per hour, or that's 20 meters per second. The time of travel is uh, 1 minute 60 seconds. The acceleration is 0.75, and the time of travel is, of course, again, 60 seconds. So substitute, then we can easily solve for S1. That's 2,550 meters. Okay, now, before going to the second part of the motion, because the train will gain speed no, upon reaching point B, and that speed will now be the initial velocity of the train in moving from B to C. So we need to solve that velocity at B. So let's continue the motion from A to B. So solve natin yung, uh, solve natin yung velocity of the train upon reaching point B. We can use this formula. Final velocity equals initial velocity plus acceleration times time. The initial is 20, the acceleration is 0.75, and the time is 60. Then uh, we can solve the velocity of the train at B. So that will serve as the initial velocity of the train in moving from B to C. So let's now go to the motion from B to C. From B to C. So we are up there for the distance, S2. We have the initial velocity, which is 65. The acceleration is negative and the time is 60. We can use this formula. We can use that formula. Okay, so we can have S, your VO is 65, your time is 60 seconds, and your acceleration is negative one. That will give you 2,100 meters. So therefore, the total distance traveled by the train from A to C, I, 2550 plus 2,100 is uh, 4,650 meters or 4.65 kilometers. I hope you got the, get the answer. 4.65. And by the way, let's solve this. I will show you a different solution, which is very easy. If you haven't seen the solution yet, okay, try to observe. Okay, we will use the motion curve. Huh? So there is a plot of acceleration versus time. There is also a plot of velocity versus time. But in my experience, I will, I will only use acceleration time diagram. It is more useful than velocity time because the students confused, is confused between the two. I stick to the acceleration diagram. Okay, if you plot the acceleration of the train versus time, it's very easy. Okay, this is the initial velocity. Okay, the initial velocity of the train is 20 meters per second. You can represent that with a force, as a force, an arrow. Initial velocity, 20. You can put it here. Imagine it as a force going up, okay? So because it is, of course, velocity, speed. And then the acceleration from A to B within a time of 60 seconds is constant, 0.75. They thought it, this is the acceleration. So within 60 seconds, uniform, the acceleration is uniform. So rectangular, uniform, 0.75 meter per second squared. 60 seconds, the time is 60 seconds, okay? By the way, this is very similar to a load diagram. Very similar. You can imagine this as the load. Uniform load, uniform acceleration. The area of that, 60 times 0.75, that is 45. The area of the load of this diagram represents the change in velocity. That's the change in velocity. So within 60 seconds, the velocity increases by 45. If you notice, the initial velocity is 20, it changed by 45, it becomes 65 meter per second. If you notice, we have here the answer. I mean, the value of VB, 65. Okay, next, it has a constant deceleration, negative one. So the plot must be below, within 60 seconds also. So negative one, it will be below that line. Negative one, and then 60 seconds, okay? If you compute the area of that, the area is negative 60. That's the change in velocity also. Okay? So finally, to solve the distance, just compute the moment of this force. Uh, uh, it's not just like a force. This red and the area about this time where the distance is required, about one at one minute. Huh? So that will be S. So this distance will be, how much is that? 60 plus one half of 30, that is 90. 
and this distance to the center centroid of this is uh, 30. And of course, the distance from here to here, I will just call it moment arm, is 120. Okay? So let's compute S. S is the moment of all these uh, vectors at this point. So that will be 20 times 120. And then plus 45 times 90. Plus negative 60 times 30. And that will give you 4650 meter or 0.65 kilometers. Motion curve is very convenient to use when there, whenever there is a, a compound motion. Because this is very inconvenient. We will solve the final velocity, initial, and so on. But with motion curve, you just plot the acceleration versus time. Well, if there is no acceleration because the speed is constant, then you will see nothing. Na? Okay. Additional input here, the velocity of the train at this point is the summation of all these vectors. 20 plus 45 is 65 minus 60, 5 meter per second. The train is moving 5 meter per second at this point. Oh, try, try to observe this. The distance traveled by the train after 60 seconds is 20 times 60. How much is that? That's 1,200. Plus 45 times 30. Okay, let's, let's see. Let's check. Uh, let's use our calculator. All right. 20 times 60 plus 45 uh, the distance here like, after uh, 60 seconds, 45 times 30, 45 times 30. Look, 2550. 2550 is this value. Okay? So that's a very, uh, I hope you got the concept of this. Uh, more videos to come, I will be presenting uh, this concept in other videos. Okay? So I hope you got the correct answer. Huh? And I hope you enjoyed this uh, quiz. We'll be posting quizzes also in our YouTube channel, uh, wherein you will be given time to solve the problem. Okay? So thank you for your uh, for watching our video, and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to be updated with our recent videos. Okay. Thank you.